Hello everybody, welcome to Soul Design 72, where today we're gonna show you how to construct a face, how to color in a face, using only the selection tool. Because what is the difference between the selection tool and the brush, I'm gonna show you. So, let's say I'm using the inking brush, I'm gonna ink in the eyebrow. So, you get this result, but, you see, but when I do it with a selection tool, you get a more edgier and sharper result, like so, you see? You see the difference? I'm going to show you the difference. Look. This is when I do it with a brush. And this, when I do it with the selection tool. It's a bit more sharper. So that's why the selection tool is the ideal tool to color in. bottom layer now so we got this result now you can use the darker color and with the selection tool go like this to make a darker layer oh have to put it here so So there are so many colors, even in the eyebrow, as you can see. Up. them together like this and if you're not happy with the eyebrow you can always make it more black make it more brown as you can see Oop. there you go um you can do the same with the hair, of course. Oh, use the selection tool. So. Bottom layer. And hair like this. With the black and the selection tool to make the eyelashes. Simply do this. Whoop. And there you have eyelashes. Same with this one. Go. What I usually do with the um, 
bottom eyelashes, I don't use the selection tool here. I go brush opacity on black with a brush. Change it. Wait. Like so. Because the bottom eyelashes are always a little bit more lighter than the top eyelashes, as you can see here. Now, what's very important with the eyes is when you have the bottom layer in a pink color. Choose this one, Go a little bit more red, change it up a bit. So, here, let me show you. You can do this. Oh, oh. there you go. mostly darker than the bottom lip. So. There you see, and now we go a little bit darker. fast fast way of doing things but it's just a tutorial for showing for how to construct a human face okay let's go with the eyes if you use a bottom layer you can go I said I would only use the selection tool, but for some parts you can easily use the brush tool. Like so. Now, the selection tool comes pretty handy when you're constructing the eyes. Like this, um, let me show you. She has blue eyes, okay? Let's give her some blue eyes. I can do this up. Simply put in the blue eyes, then make the blue a little bit darker. 
Come on. There we go. Now, with the selection tool again, the upper part of the eye dark, the shadow. Like so. Up. And you see the result immediately. As you can see. And Use the white and then put a little light spot here and maybe here on this the same. Oh, opa. <clears throat> now, what I usually do to make the eyes a little bit brighter is I take the lightest blue part. I can and make it with the selection tool again. Just go like this. Up. And you made it brighter. Look, look at the result. Now, the uh, around the eyes, there's usually a shadow. So let's take this color again, make it a little bit brighter, and let me show you. To show you, up there's the shadow part. No. This part is getting lost in color, so you can always do it like this. The nose, really important with the nose, is it always has, usually always has a darker part right about here. Wait. So we're gonna make. A little bit darker, like so. And maybe a little bit shadow color. Just do it like this, going up to the left. And there you have the shadow. Now this shadow color if you make it a little bit lighter, you can use under the eyes, like so. Just a little 
touch. Give the eyes a little bit more depth. Now, as you can see, the eyes always have this little line. I'll show you in a second. Wait a minute. Little line that goes like this. See that drum here too. And now we take this color again. And we go like this with the selection tool. Just select the area you want to fill in. And there you have it. The lips aren't ready yet because as you can see there's always a little bit sh of shadow. Darker parts right about here. Wait. So And maybe a darker part right about here. Oop. Um, and of course a lighter part. more lighter like so no I don't I'm not so happy with the coloration right here so this is a lot better okay uh, of course there's always a little bit of white usually shining light like so Oop. looks about right and almost a white uh, light pink color at the bottom of the lips because uh, the the top of the lips because they reflect reflect the light like so yeah now I'm gonna use this color again here <clears throat> let's focus on the hair right now so Here go.
so easy with the selection tool. I think you get a better result than with the when you color it in with the brush. Or, out of ear right here with the selection tool like so yeah. she has a black shirt on you can do with the brush and some things you can do with the selection tool So again, with the selection tool, you better use this color. There you go. Now, we're not ready with the eyes yet. Just plain white. shadow area here in the eyes a little shadow area here and I think now we can do with the sketch the sketch is gone I think this needs to be a little bit more bright. to 
outline the face so you can see where it's going. finished yet here comes the most important part um, the shading just like I did with the nose and the, around the eyes the face always has a little bit of shading going on so, and the shading you can do like white bit in without changing anything you don't go over the, the lines accentuate the upper lip a bit more use a bit more white this white can be used to highlight it's a little bit too gray for my taste um it's better i think no no mm. it's too it is too white take the face color and i think this is better take a look yeah much better highlights under the eyes highlights here maybe you can do it like so maybe highlights on the nose like so and under the chin from on the chin I mean So, and there you have it. Mm, 
mostly around here. Highlights. Um, the ears could be a little bit darker. Right about here. And up. Now let me see what I can do with the middle part of the lips. The mouth is a little bit open. There. Now we can always construct the eyes a little bit better. Like so. some highlights in her hair. white spot it's always nice like so Oop. white spot on the nose and we're about done I think I usually take the blending tool and Blend in the hair like so. Oh, that's going a little bit too far. Oh, okay. And again. So. Oh, well. Always push this part out. And take the blending tool. This yeah, maybe a nice background. What color should I take? I think light green would be a very good possibility. Yeah. What did I miss? Let's look over. Yeah. What a fun thing to do is, I love Alphonse Mucha, as you know. He always uses outlines. Thick outlines. Professional. 
<laughs> in my opinion. Well, that's my pro tip how you construct a face. How you color in the face. I think this could be a little bit more darker. Like so. The same with this one. And there we have it, the construction and the coloring in of a face. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope to see you in my next video, have a nice day, be safe guys, Covid is uh, still raging and uh, we got the vaccines, luckily it's getting a little bit better in the world but there are still places that are struggling, like India. Uh, well, see you in my next video. Bye bye guys.